hello guys i am sage's mike and welcome to my channel sage's mike takes so in this video we'll be talking about something very important in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can become a professional mobile technician without attending any institute so becoming a professional in something that you really like doing isn't all about going to learn the thing from someone you know what i'm saying so for mobile repairing it only needs one secret which is try things by your own what i mean by try things by your own is that if you are a mobile technician what you really need to do to learn most things by yourself because i am here i haven't learned my work mobile repairing work from someone i started having ideas like since i had in mind that i really like doing this i was still little and i started searching on things by myself trying out things by myself then destroying the same as i am trying the more i am trying the more i am destroying the more i am learning so i tried everything by myself and right now i know a lot i know a lot it's not about bragging you know what i'm saying so i learned a lot by myself and here i'm just going to tell you the one secret in which you can do to become a mobile a professional mobile technician first you know about reballing reballing you know about short circuit i think you have learned or you have heard about these things in my other videos in my other recent videos so for you to know all these things by yourself you need to try things by yourself what i mean by you need to learn by yourself is that i if you are a mobile technician i think you always have people coming around saying that they have phones that they want to sell so if you if you sit in at your workplace or at home then you see someone selling phones that that the phones are not okay like this phone the person is saying this phone is bad i need to sell it you can buy it for this cheap price what i can recommend you to do is that you should always buy those phones you should always try to gain money and buy those phones because those phones you can learn a lot from those phones that is why you need to buy the phones in cheap prices so that at least when you when you you buy the phone and you try arranging it it does not work then you will know that i at least i have given out money the phone hasn't worked but yet i have learned something from the phone it you cannot just learn something when you succeed the best learning is when you fail so for example if you buy a phone that is switching on but the if you buy a phone that is switching on but yet not displaying you understand what i'm saying you buy a phone that is switching on but having a white screen and yet you open the phone trying to to fix the phone and then you touch the reball or you try hit the power ic in some kind of way or you remove one dial at the other other end of the board and the phone does not switch on totally from there you will know that i did not need to touch this dial or i did not need to hit this power ic this way or hit the cpu this way that is something that you have learned from that phone and you will know that in the next phone i'm not going to remove this ic so that is what you need to do if you buy if you if someone comes with a phone that he's that or oh, someone brings a phone that that you try to arrange the phone and the phone does not work you can try to buy the phone from the person when you are working a phone for example if someone brings a phone at your workshop that the phone is not calibrating the phone is switching on displaying well but not calibrating you try arranging the phone and it does not work if the phone does not work what you need to do is that when you are arranging the phone meanwhile you know that the customer is still to come and take the phone and the phone is switching on but not calibrating you will have some fear that maybe i might do some deep work deep work in this phone and yet the phone will not switch on again that is the fear right so when you try your best to arrange the phone and it does not switch on when the customer comes and like you you see that the customer is already discouraged about the phone try to buy the phone from the customer because when you buy the phone from the customer even try to buy the phone in a cheap price from the customer when you buy the phone from the customer in a cheap price then you take your time working on the phone you won't have no fear because when the phone gets bad totally bad you will know that at least i am into no trouble you know what i'm saying so when you buy the phone from the customer you really need to take your time 
study the phone you should do research you should do research you can come to my channel go to google search about different things how you can do different things it's all about online and experiencing things so that when if you experience this you will know that when you hold this other phone and open it you will need to touch this side or you will need to touch this side always try to work always try to learn on things that are yours don't learn on something that is someone else's that is why i said you need to buy things that are not okay then work on if you completely damage you will know that next time you will need to touch this place you know what i'm saying so i hope this video helps it's all about the video today so make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel because i do videos on how you can repair how you can solve so many things and more 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 so just subscribe to my channel and get notified anytime that i upload a video like this video and comment if this information is helpful